Okay. I swear this is going to be the final video of the day. Um, we we uh, we're in the middle of our real last dyno pole on the last dyno pole, but the downpipe fell off. And when the downpipe falls off, uh, because it, the, yeah, it, so the tube is connected to the uh, outside wall of the dyno room, and it scares the piss out of everybody because all of a sudden it gets a lot noisier. So I'll flip this over and go look. I'm gonna walk out to the engine, the actual dyno cell facility. It's gonna get very noisy, but I'll show you the pipe. Uh, that's the pipe that came off on the last one. We're going to do our best here to make another one. Uh, so anyway, this is going to be a little bit of a long lead-in while they, while they work on stuff, but that'll give people a chance to get connected. So let me explain what this thing is. This is a 2.2 uh, liter uh, billet aluminum block built by Mazworks uh, at Nissan SR20 engine. It's a, it's a little bit larger than standard, four-cylinder. Um, this is a drag race engine um, uh, once again 2.2 liter it's got a single uh, 88 millimeter inducer uh, Garrett uh, GTX which is a billet compressor wheel turbocharger on it we have a looks like about probably 2,000 horsepower core ice water to air uh, heat exchanger on it that's the big silver bit there and then we have a methanol fuel cell that holds about four gallons here this black part um, oil tank in the background over here, that's for the dry sump system. Mechanical fuel pump, methanol fuel, we have uh, three injectors per cylinder. We have two 3800cc injectors and we have a single 5000cc a minute injector. Um, feed methanol to the engine. Uh, we have uh, the CDI box, uh, M&W ignition, uh, capacitive discharge CDI box and we use uh, motorcycle style pencil coils like you might find in, in, a, in a GSX-R1000 or, or, a, or a Hayabusa on the road. We've got a 60 millimeter tile wastegate there just off the tip of my finger to control the, the boost on the exhaust side. And then we actually use this little tile, uh, I think it's a 35 millimeter wastegate uh, for a effectively a blow off valve uh, that we use when we're, when we're making a pull. So um, I think we're about ready to be able to, to go here. This is a at Scranton's facility in Land Lakes, Florida. This is a uh, Superflow 902 uh, engine dynamometer. Now, listen, when the, when the pipe blew off, we were all bummed because we heard the, you know, obviously we heard the noise, which scares the shit out of everybody because it effectively takes that muffling sound that goes out the wall out there and puts it in the dyno room. Um, but I figured it was an intake pipe, and of course we wouldn't have made our dyno pole. Now, the reality of it is that it almost made it through the dyno pole anyway, and so, what we thought was we'd, we'd make one more and uh, you know we'll, sh we'll show everybody what it's gonna do on this last pole without the pipe falling off, but it turns out we actually got some data. And so just to be completely straight up with everybody, this is our 17th, 17th dyno pole. That was the one where the pipe blew off and you can see the amount of power that it actually produced up to the point where the pipe came off, right? So we, we're gonna act surprised if it makes over 1800 horsepower, but in reality, we know it already made 1800 before the pipe came off. So we're gonna try it again here. This should be um, 1800 plus horsepower, unless, you know, we got some sort of a false reading when the pipe fell off, or we've got something else going on uh, as far as the engine goes when, when the pipe fell off. So I think we're ready to, guys, are we ready to give it a go? Ready. All right. Ready, ready? Ready, ready? Ready, Matt, ready? Ready, ready to drive? Ready, ready, ready. ready. Yes, ready, ready. ready. All right. The team owner's saying he's ready, then I think we're good to go. So, um, uh, where the hell were we? Over here on my laptop screen. This is my M150 custom software package for a pro import uh, car. This one's for a four cylinder, specifically made for their car. But um, what we're gonna watch, same as the last pull, is the uh, the mixture here. So this is this is the lambda coming from the lambda sensor, and this is the mixture aim in lambda, and then this is the the trim. You'll see that it's not in closed loop control. Let's see how close we are to the appropriate uh, mixture. Is everybody ready? Okay, so if everybody's ready at home, here we go back to the switch panel for Motec PDM. Ignition switch is on. Matt is already giving me throttle, so let's hope we'll start here. Yay, that's 17, 18 now times in a row it started, so that's we're winning as far as that's concerned. 
uh, engine water pump is on, and now charge air heat exchanger water pump is on. Ice water to air. Here we go. Is everybody ready? Ready. All right, let's do it. Right, Hero go. or zero? I swear, I swear, I swear this is going to be the last <laughs> poll. I promise. We'll be done for the day after this. So off we go. Same dyno sweep, 7 to 10. Miles. Just over 1800 horsepower, boys. 1800. Oh so, gosh. most most tuners, of that course, are going to claim that it was their tune-up that, that, that made it made that amount of power. But the reality of it is, the power <laughs> <laughs> the power is is dependent on the engine builder, and and more importantly than that, this is the real secret. That round spinny thing out there, that turbo, that's really where the power gets made. And then yes. this guy's job. Okay is to try to build parts strong enough to contain what that. the turbo can put out. So that's, I like to call that a, which is stronger, the turbo or the engine contest? And today, oh shit, I better shut it off, huh? <laughs> and today, uh, so far the turbo and the engine seem to be equally strong. Mark, do you have anything to comment about? Well, I'd like to thank everybody here for coming. Um, I'd like to thank Chain for stopping by and helping us out. Um, we worked so long in getting this put together. We, we Broke the car down for a year. We knew we had to start from zero. All right, we thanks, worked Mark. Lots of <laughs> <laughs> Mo, what do you got? You Thank happy? You. Yes, I'm really happy. So can we go get some food now? Hell yeah. Yes. All right. <laughs> I think we're going to go to the bar and see if we still like the taste of beer. Yes, sir. Both <laughs> no food. We'll do that. All right. All right, I'm going to pull the data. Thanks, everybody, for enjoying the 1,800 horsepower, 2.2 liter four-cylinder. 1800. 18, yeah. Let's just call it 18. It's a nice round number. <laughs> 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 built by Mazworks. The block made by Mazworks and built by Mazworks. Always under promise and over deliver. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks. Thanks for watching today. We've had a lot of fun.